All right, so we have this little problem here. We have to add, subtract, and compute the linear combination of two algebraic expressions. In the first example, we have to add these two things. The parentheses are kind of just meaningless accessories here. Um, they don't really play a role. We can just drop them. If, if they do anything, they suggest that we're adding two algebraic expressions and not just four different terms. But mentally, we just drop the parentheses and combine like terms. 2p and negative 5p are like terms. When we combine them, we add 2 and negative 5. That's negative 3. That's how many p we have. And when we add negative 3 and 6, we get plus 3. That's it. Now, in the next example, we have to subtract these expressions. And I would say, don't ever try to subtract mentally. When we subtract longish things, oftentimes around the end, we forget that we are subtracting or we overthink it. So I recommend that let's rewrite it as an addition and then add mentally. So to subtract is to add the opposite. So instead of subtracting negative 5p plus 6, we're going to add the opposite, which means we're going to add the thing that we get when we change all the signs. So this, this negative 5p is going to be a plus 5p. This, is, this plus 6 is going to turn into a negative 6. Um, so to subtract is to add the opposite of this is plus 5p and minus 6. And now we can combine like terms, we get 2p plus 5p, 7p, and negative 3 and negative 6. Then combined, we get negative 9. OK. And this last example, I call it a linear combination. Uh, it basically means we multiply one thing by a number, the other thing by a number, and then we add or subtract. And that's. We multiply the first expression by 2. We multiply the second expression by 5 or subtract. Or it might be helpful to think of the second part as we distribute negative 5. So we distribute for the first 2. 2 times 2p is 4p. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And now it's going to be addition or subtraction. So things will not turn into multiplications. And we can just sort of mentally shove this negative with the 5 and distribute negative 5. Negative 5 times negative 5p is plus 25p. And negative 5 times plus 6 is negative 30. And again, we have two pairs, 4p and 25p can be combined. And negative 6 and negative 30 are also like terms. And we combine them to negative 36. And that's how you do that one. It's always fun to check. We got that one right. We got that one right. And we got that one right. That's encouraging. Thank you for watching.